I have a daughter with a rare disease called congenital adrenal hyperplasia. And she was diagnosed when she was seven years old. And at that point, we began our odyssey into the world of rare diseases. It turned out that my husband and I were both carriers of a mutation for congenital adrenal hyperplasia that my daughter received the two mutated genes and my son didn't receive neither gene. My sister turned out to be a carrier for congenital adrenal hyperplasia. She was of reproductive age and was thinking about becoming pregnant. So my daughter's diagnosis actually helped her to think about her reproductive choices. As a carrier, she wanted to see whether or not her husband was a carrier because with CAH, there is a prenatal treatment that can be done if you are carrying a child that, uh, that is affected. As it turned out, her husband was not a carrier and she did not need to use the prenatal treatment. I had some reservations about talking about our family health history, um, primarily because of the stigma that is associated with the genetic disease called congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Although my daughter had a mild form of congenital adrenal hyperplasia, the gene mutation that I carry can lead to a form of the disease that causes ge uh, genital ambiguity and can have a lot of stigma for a girl growing up with congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Again, I was fortunate that my daughter did not have these genital birth defects, but talking about a genetic issue that impacts gender and in impacts the sexual and reproductive system of a child can be very delicate. So it was kind of complicated explaining it to my family and also explaining that indeed my daughter had a form that where her gender was not in question and where she luckily did not have the ambiguous genitalia. It was very difficult for her when she was growing up because her friends would look it up on the internet, would look up our nonprofit, and would think that she had ambiguous genitalia. In fact, she did not, but nevertheless, she felt stigma and became quite upset on a number of instances where her friends made reference to the ambiguous genitalia. And it took some effort and internal strength from my daughter to be able to explain her disease to her friends and to help them to understand that girls with CAH are girls. We were shocked when we discovered that my daughter had this rare disease and that my husband and I carried the gene, the gene mutation for this disease because in fact there was no family history of congenital adrenal hyperplasia. It came completely out of the blue. And in fact, this is how I got involved with newborn screening because it became evident to us that newborn screening was necessary since many diseases that are picked up by newborn screening, there is no family history. And it just shows up because of a because of fate, because of genetics, and um, so families need to know as early as possible to treat their children.